All right, guys, I'm gonna be straight with you. There hasn't been much plunder action on the channel lately, and really, there's been nothing to update. Like, what am I gonna say? Oh, this format, we're playing Ghost Mourner, and it's a totally new deck. No, like, there's been no plunder support. The adventure build is the same, the runic build is the same, pure kaijus, whatever build is the same. I've had nothing to really talk about, but I'm gonna do my best. What we have to do when we don't have new cards to test out for Blunder is use the card pool that's available. And it's time to do, or attempt at least, some innovation. So I kind of dug into some other decks I had and try to figure out, hey, can I make some kind of combination that actually works out with the Plunder Patrol deck? And I think I might, I might have found something fun. I don't know if it's good, but we're gonna give it a go. Okay, I'm gonna show you the list. I'm gonna show you the theory, the combos, a couple test hands. You can decide for yourself. Yeah, is this a total pile? Is this a total bunch of nonsense? Possibly. Is it fun? Probably. So, you know, plunder is stale. You gotta innovate. You gotta do something new. So we're gonna let it rip. I'm gonna show you why Scareclaw, specifically Visa Starfrost, is kind of a cool, cool card to play in Plunder Patrol. And uh, I'm gonna show you the build and show you guys what's going on and pretty much just go through it and hope you enjoy a little bit of new plunder action because there has been not a lot of action on the seas. The seas have been still, still waiting on a wind ship to roughen those seas up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, let's go ahead and jump in. We're gonna, we're gonna go through this list. It's a bunch of nonsense. Actually, maybe, I don't know, should I start with the list or start with the combo? to show the theory. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do the theory first. Yeah? How about we do that? How about we do that? We're gonna scoot this back. You already see the top cards on the on the pile here. We have Golden Hair and Visas, and this is the bread and butter combo of what this deck is trying to pull off. And we're just gonna assume we start with these cards plus uh, a hand of three blanks. Maybe they're, you know, hand traps, maybe not. Maybe we're not playing hand traps. Find out shortly. But the theory is, Starfrost is like a sweet combo engine, okay? Like, and, and it, you can play this in any deck. I might actually just do a video on like combo engines. But Starfrost is crazy. Uh, and let me just show you. Let me just show you real quick. All right, so we're gonna normal summon our golden hair. And I don't know, like if you're just a plunder purist and you've never read any other cards in the game, let me remind you what Visa Starfrost does. So it can destroy a monster you control with a different type and attribute than Visa, so it can be a light monster or a warrior. But luckily we have a Water Fiend, so we're gonna go ahead and destroy our Golden Hair to summon out our Visas. Sweet. Now what we're gonna do is link off our Visas into a Link 1. And our Link 1 is going to be Scareclaw Lightheart. Awesome. Scareclaw Lightheart on summon is able to search the Scareclaw Field spell. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to activate the Scareclaw Field Spell, which will search a Scareclaw Monster on activation. And we're going to search a copy of Scareclaw Rykart. Okay, and now Rykart can special summon itself to any zone adjacent to another Scareclaw Monster. So we can just put it in defense right there and on summon can search a Scareclaw Spell or Trap. So we're going to search Scareclaw Arrival. R Arrival is just a monster reborn essentially for any Scareclaw monster or Visa Starfrost. So we can go ahead and fire that off, summon back out our Visa Starfrost and boom, we have Synchro 10 material. So we can just go ahead and send those off, make a copy of Baron de Fleur and voila, here we go. We have Baron on field, Scareclaw, this arrival is gone. And now we can just jump into plunder time. We're gonna go ahead and golden hair, discard any random card. And then we can just link off the light heart and the golden hair for a Blackbeard. And there we go, Blackbeard Barone. And hey, what if we get nibbed? Well, we still have a nib token. We still have golden hair engraved. At least we have that Blackbeard, right? And then because they have a nib, they can they have a light attribute and we can just go Blackbeard for Liss on our own turn. Not too shabby, right? So we have a little bit of potential here. Let me go through the list. Let me show you what I've been cooking up because we're trying to spice up a little bit what's going on in the plunder world. What's going on in the seven seas, if you will. All right, here we go. Deck profile time, main deck, 40 cards, absolute pile. 
plunder cards very um normal normal lineup three golden hair let me scoot that down so you can see it three gold three white the standard like i'm really not going to talk through this if you're here you know plunder already three black eyes three blue beard just the best monsters right and then we have one red beard as kind of engine requirement you could summon off of white and at least have some kind of tag out effect uh and then three copies of the field spell and one booty we're not on no runic weird shit where we're only playing one field spell now we're going the full three because we need to find that golden hair because it's the best one to work with the scare claw stuff boom so this is what um let's see 13 monsters uh 17 17 plunder cards not too shabby you have to have um like a minimum kind of because you need ammo for your ships right so we do have to play a significant pile next pile is going to be adventure there's no reason not to play this because our normal summon is still going to be a plunder card like uh, even though we're playing scareclaw cards Still want to normal summon those plunders, and there's extra synergy going on later on. So it's going to be our standard adventure lineup. Eight cards, three Enchantress, Griffin, two right, one Faithful, one Draco. The usual, right? Okay, so that's 25 cards right there. Now on to the Scareclaw stuff. Uh, I'm going to have to proxy a couple cards because I only have one Visas right now. Two are in the mail, but three Visa Starfrost. This is our primary goal to open like we want to open visas plus plunder names because we can get into a baron de floor before we do our plunder stuff pretty nice just the one reichart one planet and then two copies of arrival okay i'll show you guys why these are not that bad of bricks uh generally arrival is not once per turn either so even if you open one and you go through your combo you can use the second one and then you can get into jord a lot easier so that's pretty nice maybe even like worth playing three i don't know uh, but yeah, so this is, okay, that was 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 31, 2, 32 cards. Now we have 8 cards for essentially non-engine, which is not a lot. And so we might as well just not play any, right? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and play a 3 copies of Kashtira Fenrir plus 1 Scareclaw Kashtira because we can actually summon this damn thing in this deck and it's kind of nice. It outs random stuff, which is pretty sweet. Uh, you know, outs Baguska, it outs Dragoon, if anyone's actually playing Dragoon. Um, it's just an extender, like, after turn one, or even during turn one, if you open enough Scareclaw stuff. It's just kind of nice, alright? So we're gonna go ahead and play it, and it kind of gets us into our Scareclaw stuff. Like, if we just have Fenrir plus a Plunder, we can link those off, uh, and then summon out the Scareclaw cache, go into a Lightheart, and then we can go into... Uh, the whole visas line so it opens up combos all right now there's four cards left okay we actually do have a little bit of oh uh, we have one more engine uh it's going to be one foolish burial and i'll show you why essentially foolish opens up your adventure package it opens up your plunder package by sending golden hair and it also if you just open arrival and none of your other scareclaw stuff you can just foolish a visas not too shabby right and then you can actually just get into your whole um you, you can get into whichever engine you're missing, okay? And then three final cards are going to be our only non-engines, and it's going to be uh, Forbidden Droplet. We just have so many sweet droplet targets. All of the plunders that become equips. We have the adventure stuff that we don't need. We have Kashira stuff that we can't summon. We have any of these that are actually bricks. We can just droplet them all away. And honestly, all three of these engines apply pressure, even going second. Like adventure going second, not too not too bad. Fenrir puts pressure. Uh, you know, plunder. They what are they gonna like negate? Like and white beard floats, golden hair floats. Everything just floats. You have black eyes to bring the stuff back. Your, your deck can actually push through going second pretty good. It's just a, it's a solid pile, right? So this is going to be our main deck. We're going to do test hands. Let me, let me kind of like at least demonstrate a little bit that I'm not off my rocker completely. Just a little bit. Just a little bit off the rocker. You know what I'm saying? Now let me go through the extra deck. Extra deck is not going to be too complicated. Uh, so we have our plunder stuff first is going to be fairly standard. Three Blackbeard, you got to play three. Two lists, you gotta play two of that as well, and two Morik. I think this is standard in every single Plunder Patrol list ever. These are your best dudes, right? And everyone's playing lights or darks or hand traps or lights and darks. Uh, just the one brand right now I think is fine, and one Jord. Jord sends itself back to extra, so you only ever need one. And that's nine cards right there. 
scooch that over and now we have six cards for the whole scare claw package which is not a lot to be honest like we are a little bit tight in the extra there's a lot of text that we can't play but we're gonna give it a go uh just the one light heart i think you only need the one get into the combo once after that Everything else is just gonna recycle itself and just act as material for the rest of your extra deck cards. Uh, one copy of SP, mandatory, you know, if you don't have one, that's fine, just cut it for something else. Uh, On to the bonus fusion monster, which I forgot to talk about in the example hand. We have the Vicious Astroloud, which is nice, which is, it's freaking awesome. Like if you get into Visas plus Rykart, no matter what happens, you always have a free Astroloud summon and pop. Like it is just insane how good this card is. And nobody's, nobody really looks at it, right? Uh, and then for our Synchros, we have one Barone de Fleur and one Psychic and Punisher. Psychic End is a level 11, so you're going to make that with one of the Kachtira guys, plus a Plunder Tuner, or the Griffin Rider if you really want to, plus a Plunder Tuner. Uh, just goes into Psychic End. And then our last card is going to be one Sky Crisis, which is not terrible. It's not super necessary, but... I could definitely see cutting this card for something else because a lot of times like you want to summon this last and a lot of times you're plunder locked by then and that's a little crap so like you could honestly replace this for something that you were going to summon earlier in your combo maybe a chen ying maybe like a white aura whale or a dragite at emancipate arisen dragite as a other level eight synchro options like you got a lot of options but i think i don't know typhon's just good uh -huh. so do what you want do what you want and uh see how much typhon comes up for you all right so now that i've shown you guys what we're working with let's go ahead and shuffle up do a couple test hands and let me tell you what the proxies are the uh keldo and the medora are proxies for the two other visa star frosts because i don't have three right now also I've been kind of getting into how important golden hair is because it's the only one that you can pop with visas and then summon back. Like if you go white beard plus visas, you can't use the white beard effect because then you're plunder locked. I mean, you could, but then your visas won't be able to go into light heart and all that stuff. So that's a little bit lousy. So because of how important golden hair is, you could consider playing this card, Puri Rays Map. Uh, it searches any monster with zero attack, but you have to normal summon it, which is what we want to be doing with golden hair anyway. So it's just an option. It is an option. Uh, it also searches Scareclaw Catch Tira randomly, but uh, it doesn't really do you any good because you have to normal summon it or else you can't use it. Um, but yeah, um, just something to think about if you want to be a little bit more consistent with the best power play. Um, but yeah, so essentially the Visas works the best with, uh, like I've been saying, with the Golden Hair. Let me try to find the Visas. The Visas works the best with Golden Hair, um, but it can also work with any other uh, two-card Plunder combo as long as one of them is uh, this guy, uh, Black Eyes, because you can pop one and then um, in the end... Like, you, like, for example, we would normal summon Whitebeard here, pop it with Visas, uh, do your whole Visas, like Scareclaw stuff, and then in the end, uh, Black Eyes add back the Whitebeard, and then you could link off Black Eyes plus Lightheart uh, for the for the Blackbeard. Um, so, yeah, this is the only, like, one-card combo. Like, uh, like I was saying, if we normal summon Whitebeard, pop it with Visas, we can't, if we use Whitebeard effects, we just, we have to just link off the Visas for... Uh, Blackbeard, there's nothing else really to do because we're locked into plunder names by then. Um, yeah, and also just like normal summoning Bluebeard is kind of nice and popping it if you have like random crap in your hand that's not doing very well. Um, and then also like even if you don't want to pop a, a um, what do you call it, a plunder name, you could just summon Fenrir or you could summon a... Uh, adventure token slash griffin rider and pop that with visas and then don't forget the scareclaw field spell pop stuff if you have enough if there's enough defense position monsters so it's just another going second tool it's kind of cool it's kind of cool so just think about this all right test hand uh golden hair <laughs> golden hair visas okay uh, that seems a little bit rigged. We've already seen what that turns into. Um, let me shuffle that up again because that's obviously the best combo and I want to show different stuff okay fateful 
Droplet, Griffin, Droplet, Reichardt. Okay, uh, that's garbage. But um, let's see, maybe it's not, right? Let's see. Uh, so we'll go ahead and activate Fateful. Uh, and then we can, I guess, special summon Griffin Rider. Because why not? And then we can go Fateful Effect to search the um, equip spell. So let's go ahead and do that. Search the Draco back. Uh, now we can go... Uh, at this point, we could probably just go Faithful, search the um, Enchantress, and pitch the Enchantress, and then we can banish Enchantress to search right. Uh, and that's something. There we go. Uh, so now we have right in hand. I mean, this is not the worst thing because we at least have the Griffin negate for uh, what our right card combo is going to be. But now we can activate right. Uh, let's special summon a token here. And now we have token. Oh, this is in the grave. This is in hand. Okay, so now we have Griffin plus token plus Faithful, and now we can go ahead and normal summon Reichardt. And if you know Scareclaw at all already, um, you know this can actually get into a little bit. So we can go Reichardt effect here. Um, actually, let's see. Do we want to go Reichardt effect here? Because maybe we can get a draw later on. If you guys don't know Reichardt on summon, it searches. But if there's three defense position monsters on the field, uh, you can draw a card. So I'm trying to figure out if we want to be doing that right now. Yeah, we kind of have to. All right, so we're going to go right card effect. Search the copy of Arrival. Uh, and now we can link off the right card for a um, Scareclaw. Uh, the Lightheart, I mean. Lightheart effect on summon. We'll search the field spell. Hopefully we are not under droll right now. That would be lousy. Field spell, let's go ahead and activate. I'll put it over here. You guys know what's up. Uh, and then that will be able to search us our Visa Starfrost. Uh, the nice thing is the field spell searches whichever one you're missing, right? Uh, now we can go Visa's effect, uh, pop the Lightheart to summon itself. Uh, and now we can Actually, we can summon the Lightheart back if we wanted to. That is an option. Uh, Lightheart can summon itself back once per duel if you have a Visas. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead now and use the Arrival and summon back out the Reichardt. Uh, and now we can, now we have Barone access. Uh, we can also summon back the Lightheart if we want, and I'm not sure if that will get us anywhere right now. So I think we'll just leave it in the grave for uh, potential, you know, future plays. Uh, and now we can just synchro off into Baron de Fleur. There we go. And now we just have um, two droplets plus Draco back, Baron and Griffin Negate. We have the, like we have a ton of of material to send with Droplet, so that's kind of nice. Uh, like with the field spell, the fateful if we wanted to, the Draco back if we wanted to. Um, it's all kind of nice. So, I mean, it's not the worst end board. Obviously, there's zero plunder cards going on, but we open zero plunder cards. But hey, like even though we open zero engine, we were still able to do something, right? So, all right, that's just an example of a Scareclaw test hand, apparently, a Scareclaw adventure test hand. Let's go ahead and shuffle it up one more time. I want to see what happens when we open Fenrir. Uh, and see if that gets us anywhere with the Scareclaw Cash Hero. Uh, and see where that goes. Okay, so let's, uh, we shuffled up again. Let's go ahead. Okay, good. Fenrir, Redbeard. This is a Visa Starfrost. This is a Black Eyes. And this is a White Beard. Okay, sweet. Uh, let me just swap this out for the Visa. So the, because that's a proxy for it. For another one so let me just go ahead and swap it out so we actually know what we're using in the test hand okay so cool now we have this hand let's see what we can do with it we're gonna start off obviously with special summon fenrir uh, and then we can go fenrir effect and of course there's no real point of searching another fenrir so we might as well search a copy of scareclaw kashtira and we'll see if that helps us at all down the line it is okay sweet good start now we can uh we're gonna have to normal summon a plunder card 
and then pop it with Visa's Scareclaw. Kashira has to banish a Scareclaw or a Kashira monster in hand or in graveyard. You can't banish one off the field. So we're going to have to either link this off or wait till we get other Scareclaw stuff going on. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and normal summon our, I guess, white beard here or red beard. It doesn't really matter. Uh, normal summon white and then we're going to activate the Visa Star Frost here to pop the white. Hmm. Or we can just pop the cash, the Fenrir. We can maybe we just pop the Fenrir here. Let's try that. Uh, pop the Fenrir to summon the visas. The reason we're doing that is because I want to see if we can get into the whole uh, Jord combo. Um, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that with this particular hand. We would need a blue beard or something like that. Um, let me think here. Visas, no, we need. A, we would need a way to discard something. Is there any way to discard something? I don't think we play any discards. Yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't open up any uh, adventure stuff either. That would have done the trick. But we opened the three plunder names that can't <laughs> like extend with two plunder names at once, unfortunately. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and play it out. Uh, we went ahead and summoned the Visas link the visas off for the light heart light heart will grab the right cart right heart we can special summon i mean oh no it won't grab the right heart directly forgot the the middle step which is to search the planet planet search the right cart special the right cart search the arrival um yep and then we can activate the arrival to summon back out visas and now we can just go into barone here there's other plays like you could keep link link climbing a little bit like you could link off the the reich plus the light heart for something for a link too and then bring the light heart back and then you have like appaloosa access even but it doesn't i mean it, it's too much for the extra deck barone's going to be made way more often and uh you know the apo is not going to play around nib uh, any better than the Barone will. So the, you might as well just play Barone because it's more you're more likely to make it, right? Um, anyway, um, so yeah, that's there. And now we still have a normal summon. We can go normal summon Whitebeard here. Uh, but unfortunately, we have no way to... Um, no way to get into Jord here that I can think of. No way to get into Jord. Is that true? I believe so. Like if we rewind a little bit, if instead of synchroing these for uh, Barone, we could just normal summon Whitebeard here and then boom, we have Jord with Whitebeard and Reichart. But we're just open to Nib and all that kind of thing. So we might as well just go for the Barone play. Anyway, yeah, here's uh, Barone. Now we normal summon um let's see we can link off for the black beard here actually maybe we do have jord access here we go black beard and now we go white beard effect summon from deck yeah 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 uh summon out the golden hair and now we can go black eyes here summon out by adding back the white and now we can go into jord i don't know if it says good Jord effect, put it in the spell trap zone to add back. We can just add back the black eyes, no reason not to. Uh, did we mess up a little bit? Uh, token, token. Can Blackbeard equip a token? I think it can, right? I don't see why not. Uh, so we go Jord effect summon two tokens if it can't we still have we could have summoned the Scareclaw Clash before we locked ourselves So um, there was still a ways to play around that This Scareclaw rival is in the graveyard. Okay, Jord put itself back to summon two tokens uh, And they're both gonna be light attribute and now our Blackbeard can move the token to the equip zone I know like uh, Flambridge can move a token to the equip zone. So I don't see why this wouldn't work. And then we would special summon a list and draw one. And that draw is another black eyes. So yeah, we have Barone, Blackbeard, Liss, um, 
it's not not great it's not like amazing but it's something so um yeah not too terrible not too terrible obviously our hand is not backed up with hand traps but that's the cost of just playing so much engine and trying to go for all this fancy stuff but honestly it's not that bad i don't think so um you know depends on the format of course right now we need to kind of play a lot of hand traps for the fire decks but this might actually be kind of relevant or a little bit better after uh the ban list if it turns into more of a board breaker format like this this build could actually like you could consider it you could consider it at least and maybe you can swap out i don't know if the adventure engine is totally worth it um you can swap it out for like board breakers like talents or thrust or something so that might be kind of cool let's do one more uh shipyard golden arrival fateful and Bluebeard. Okay, well, at the very least, we know we have full plunder combo with Golden and Blue. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we also, like, this is another case where um, we at least have Field Spell or Bluebeard to discard this arrival. Because it's not doing anything. So, it, it's even though we it's a brick right now, we can still just discard it right and just get a get a fresh card but ideally we're going to try to go for the bluebeard draw one to see if we can get into scareclaw stuff and then this arrival is going to go nuts um so let's go ahead and do that um we can activate the fateful here uh normal summon golden hair and go fateful effect and search for the uh, equip card search for the equip card let's see where it is there it is, okay, and now we can just go Faithful the other effect. We're gonna search for the, um, we're gonna search for a Enchantress. There we go, and then just discard the Equip card. Reason is, uh, I want to try to draw with that Bluebeard and try to dig into a Scareclaw card. Okay, so we're gonna now Special Summon the Blue. And then we can go ahead and synchro these off for a Jord. There we go. And now we can go Bluebeard effect, discard one, draw one. We're gonna discard our Enchantress and draw Foolish Burial. Okay, so this is why Foolish is actually kind of nice. Um, from here we can go uh, banish the Enchantress to um, search the right. And then we can activate the right if we want right now. It doesn't really matter because it's just going to get us a token. We're not going to be able to get into Griffin because we've already used Fateful Effect. So maybe we just hold the right for later or use it as a discard or something like that. Um, that's an option as well. But from here, we can just go ahead and move it to the Spell Trap Zone. Add back the Bluebeard here. Um, that's fine. Uh, and now what we can actually do if we want is go ahead and before we get ourselves locked into plunder stuff, uh, we can we can foolish for a we can go either Visa Starfrost or Rykart here. Um, what we're actually what we want to do here, I think, is foolish the Rykart. And check this play out though. This is gonna this is gonna be pretty sweet, I think. Okay, so now we go Jord effects, return to extra deck, summon two tokens in defense mode, called light attribute. We're not locked yet. Now we go Scareclaw arrival, summon out the right card in defense. There we go, right card effect is search, and then because there's three defense monsters on the field, draw one. That's sweet. Like, I, I didn't even think of that interaction, but we're gonna search an arrival. Uh, let's shuffle up a little bit, and then we're gonna draw a card here. And it's a white beard like that's beautiful uh we'll take that all day now we go into the light heart and we can go light heart effect here to search the um field spell field spell search the visas uh visas can pop the light heart and summon itself and now we can go ahead and uh, arrival back the right card once again. Arrival is not once per turn, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and then we can link those off for, I mean, synchro those off for a Baron. There we go. And now we can just proceed with our uh, kind of standard 
plunder combo because we still have the golden hair engraved to bring itself back uh we can go ahead and golden hair by discarding whatever we want uh probably i mean we can just discard the white beard honestly and that's totally fine uh and then we can use white beard effect summon out a red from deck or we could summon out the a black eyes either one is fine let's just go ahead and go red beard and now we can uh slink off these the golden hair plus the token into the black beard black beard effect target uh target itself that's fine or target the red either way um we'll just target we'll target itself just to get it out of the link zone summon out a list here there we go uh and then draw one let me give it a quick cut and draw and our draw is another shipyard that's fine it's just more fodder um and now we can list summon back out okay so in our hand we have three plunder names plus a right for next turn um and then we have barone Liss, and blackbeard and don't forget like it's so easy to forget but we have vicious astroloud access as well in the graveyard with visas and reichardt so that is just huge follow-up it's huge follow-up 3000 attack with a pop on summon is pretty insane. So, um, yeah, I'm super stoked about this build. Like, I'm definitely going to try this out at Locals when I get my visas in. Um, hopefully that comes soon. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy the plunder content, just trying to cook something up, spice it up. You know what I'm saying? We'll catch you guys in the next one. We'll see you.